All right, so inside your adult take and make kit for this month, you have a couple of different items. Let's go ahead and pull those out and make sure you have everything you need. You should have your base of your necklace and half of a blue crayon and half of a green crayon. This is gonna be the ocean on your earth pendant and this is going to be the land. And you also have a clear disc that we're going to use um, to kind of finish off your necklace at the very end and it fits just right inside. But for right now, we'll take it out and just lay it over to the side. To keep your workspace clean, you are gonna need a paper plate or something that you can um, get crayon shavings on. And I'm choosing to use an X-Acto knife to kind of get shavings of my crayon, um, but you can use a grater, you could use a pair of scissors, just be very careful um, because this is, um, you are working with a sharp object. So I'm gonna peel off the paper of my crayons. And we are gonna get some shavings made. And then we'll get it all ready to put into the oven. Okay, so there's my blue crayon and my green crayon. So keep in mind that this is abstractly going to look like the earth. Um, <laughs> so uh, when you're looking at a globe, the planet has more water on it than it does land. So you may want to put more blue um, to represent the ocean in your design, but it's all gonna melt together and make this really cool end piece. All right, so I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, I'm scoop my other materials out of the way so you can watch, and I'm just going to make little itty bitty shavings. You always wanna work away from you just because that is safest. And you'll get these little tiny shavings. If you work on a piece of paper, that might be easier because then you can fold up um, the paper to kind of put your shavings in your piece to melt. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna pick it up in just a minute. Okay, so I'm getting these nice um, blue pieces. They're not too thick. Um, they're also not too thin either. Um, you could sit here for a very long time and get super thin, perfect shavings, but since we're melting these in the oven, you don't need to worry about that. It could be long shavings, short shavings, um, thick ones, thin ones. They're all going to melt into one nice piece in just a minute. So I have my blue. I'm going to put that over to one side. On the opposite side, I'm going to work on my green, but does it really matter because um, the green and the blue are kind of uh, going to go in the same uh, necklace piece in just a minute anyway, so if you get them mixed up, that's okay. All right, that one might have been a little thick, but you're just going to work um, out your little crayon shavings. And I should go ahead and say that from last month, if you got a take and make kit with us, um, you made a lucky penny necklace for St. Patrick's Day. And it came with a nice um, waxed cord necklace. That same necklace, you can take the lucky penny charm off of, and that will be your necklace for um, your Earth Day uh, pennant, which would be very cool. Okay, so I've got I have my green already shaved down. Ooh, and you can see there's crayon shavings everywhere, so it's a good thing I used my plate. All right, inside your bevel piece, um, you, it looks like um, a disc and it's got a little lip on it. So we are gonna put some blue shavings in here from our crayon, and that's our ocean. Maybe aim for your thinner pieces. Um, I think that's a really thick piece. We don't want to put that in there. And then of course we want to make sure that we have enough for our land masses on our, our little continents here. Now I'm not going to get the perfect shape of Florida by any means and I'm definitely not going to get Italy 
um, but it's all going to melt in the oven and it will give us a very cool representation of our planet. And you can celebrate Earth Day um, in a unique way. So I'm going to put a couple more little green pieces in here. Oops. We've got two more steps to do. We're going to put this in the oven and let it melt and our crayon shavings will spread out and then um, we'll come back after we melt it and we'll put our finishing glass piece on the top. Okay, so the oven process is really neat. Um, the temperature of your oven just needs to be on bake and warm enough to melt the crayons. You're not trying to give it a lot of heat, um, so I would keep it anywhere between two and 200 degrees um, and just let it take its time to melt. But you can see um, when you put your pieces of crayon in your bevel here, that it doesn't matter how you organize them, even if you do get a very cool shape like Florida, um, you're not, the crayon melts on its own and it's gonna take its own shape. So when I said an abstract version of the earth, I really didn't mean an abstract version, but it's very beautiful and each piece will be unique. So um, if you have more than one friend that's doing this activity together, they're all gonna look different, which is very cool. All right, our last um, part of this activity is we are going to take our glass piece and lay it on top of our planet to finish it off and make it look nice and 3D. Um, my lighting in here looks a little odd, but um, I can promise you it's very cool. So I'm going to use regular Elmer's glue that is clear and I'm going to put it right on the crayon And get the glue to come out. Just regular clear Elmer's glue. Um, white glue, white wet Elmer's glue will also turn clear, but I've found that it just makes me feel better if it's clear to start off with, then I don't panic. Um, so I'm just going to put a dot right there in the middle. I'm going to lay my piece right here on top and the glue will even it out across my my creation and I'll leave it there. I'm going to center it up. I will leave it there until it's dry and then it's ready to wear.